Hi guys, today I'm going to do a YouTube video about history and of my garden. A cool little colony of ants. Okay, I just put that back on then. Now, anyway, so a long time ago, we had a trampoline in my garden and it was right here. This is why there's not many much vegetation here anymore. Because there was a trampoline here. There was always been a trampoline here. And the reason, it's only now that the vegetation, it took about five years for the vegetation to come back. It's been about four or five years now without trampoline. It's taken this long for the uh, vegetation and grass to come back. And that sucks. Also, ooh, another rock. Also, a couple of years ago, we don't know who built it, where, where it came from, or how it even got here. But, the swing. Now we've done, I've done a lot of videos with the, and on the swing, and most of my outside videos was in 2019. Because that's where, that's when all my friends could come over and chill. But we can't do that no more. Because we can't, because of COVID. And now it's been a year, almost a year in lockdown now. And it makes me feel like, it's gone so fast. I remember in February, I made a video on this exact swing now on my old tablet saying that we need to, that we need to stay indoors because of coronavirus. And how the global, and I was explaining how like 20,000 new cases a day and like 1 million cases is really, really bad. But now we've got over a hundred times that many. I'm not really cared about it. I was scared when we had 3,000 cases of this new virus. But now there's 100 million and it's just eh. It's just like eh. It's okay. It's usual now. It's our life. And that makes me really, really sad because I miss the old days. It seems like there's a potato, some kind of bean here plant seems like there's some kind of plant here it looks like a mini potato or spinach or I don't know so I'm going to put it where it can grow I'm going to put it somewhere where it can grow I think it may be a potato seed it's still alive so it's good. And I know I have to make a very rich nutrient thing. So I'm going to find somewhere to put it in. I'm going to put it into this little plant pot over here. This is actually a good put. This is actually a good place where to put things. Let me just break all of this off. Scrumple the remaining leaves and twigs below the plants because this is this boots the nutrients because when the leaves decompose, they uh, the nutrients go back into the soil, which is needed for the plants to grow. Then we very carefully make we very carefully make a little hole. Try not to damage any of the roots. Then put this, plop it, plop it inwards, and then put soil over it. Then put some soil over it. Probably soil that you've digged up, which I'm going to use with this to dig up some soil. This is time for me explaining 
old stuff about my garden to uh, how to grow a plant, how to make, how to uh, regrow a plant. Okay, then you get the dirt. Then you bring it over to where the plant was. And sprinkle it over the plant. Then you compact it a bit. Then you compact it a bit. This all. And uh, there you go. That's how you do it. Then you get some water. And make sure the area is watered a lot. Make sure it's watered quite a bit, actually. Then place it under the water, like that. Only give it a little bit of water. There you go, as you can see, you've watered it. Then turn it off. Then turn it off. Then get some old leaves, which are not completely grey yet, but they have a brown sense to it. And then scrunch the little remains all over and because according to google that apparently leaves crunched up dry leaves can when they decompose some of the nutrients goes back to the soil which can boost plant growth because this is how trees grow the leaves from next year because over time the soil gets depleted of the resources so they use they basically this is why the leaves go like orange and yellow in the first place because you save like the tree saves up 80 percent of its nutrients by doing this so then if you do it again if you keep finding old leaves that are not dead dead yes but if you find leaves that have got a red tone to it like this leaf here it's not completely dead yet but it's practically dead it's dead but it's not dead dead you know what I mean then you bring that over sprinkle it all over and then you should be good then just so make sure you keep crunching it crunchy crunchy crunch then you sprinkle it all over then you water it again just a little bit again then move the leaves over to the area Make sure, then you make sure some of the leaves are wet so it decomposes faster. And uh, there you go. Now we just got to wait for the results now. And I don't know how these seeds. I don't know how these. I don't know how this is managed to even get in this because this is supposed to be a rose bush, a rose bush. But it seems like these massive plants have decided to make this their home for some reason. I still don't know truly why. I'm pulling the old roots out because they're practically dead. These old roots here, they're dead. See this? It's dead. All of this is dead. Now we've just got to watch a little buddy grow then. Now. Just pull all the old roots see all the old roots it still have some it still actually has a little bit of life because it's actually still growing new roots but it's practically dead and uh why's the sick button here and uh and there you go Now, it's recommended to get a little bit more of soil over the leaves, you know, to make them decompose a bit faster again. See, so, there you go, just get a little bit of soil and then put it over the plant, like so. Make sure it's uh, up correctly. And as you can see, it's in to the side, which we don't want. So it's best to stick a stick right next to it. 
and uh, make the plants lean on the stick at a little bit of an angle, like this. Make sure it can still photosynthesize. Make sure it can still photosynthesis. It's preferred to get more than one stick, you know, to stop it from falling from one stick only in regions. So it's preferred to stick one to the side of it as well. You know, make a little cocoon of sticks around it. Don't dig it too far in or it or the plant won't grow. But you just gotta make sure you uh, that your plant grows up right because if your plant doesn't grow up right then there's gonna be issues with it. So there you go, I've added so now when it gets knocked in either direction of the wind, it should be good. It should be fine. You won't yeah that's the thing, should be. Not it will be. It's the difference between should and will. So we just gotta hope that it does go well. Placing this with this. And uh there you go. Uh thanks for watching. Please subscribe and thumbs up and see my next video. Dun 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 next video.